Hey everyone, Chef Jason Hill here, and I'm in beautiful West Yellowstone, where I'm going to be taking part in the first annual cabineering cook-off here at the Explorer Cabins. Come check it out. Okay, so we're inside the cabin here at the little kitchenette. This is what I have to work with. Two burners, so I'm doing a one-pot dish. And today, since fall's coming into place, I'm gonna do a elk chili with applewood smoked bacon, some jalapeno toast, should be good. So let's get started. Okay, you can see here I'm starting my garlic shallot puree, but I don't have my little blender, so I'm doing everything by hand with this little chef knife. And I have to use everything that comes equipped in the cabin, so we're pretty limited, which makes it kind of fun, challenging. So at this point, just to get a little bit more of a paste, I'm gonna just smash it up with my knife and run my knife across it like that. Makeshift garlic shallot puree. Now that my fingertips totally smell like garlic, it's a good thing we've got a stainless steel sink in here because if you rub your fingertips along the stainless steel, it miraculously removes the smell of garlic. Now we're gonna dice up the rest of our vegetables. Got one bell pepper here. Yeah, we weren't allowed to bring our knives from home. So I'm doing the best I can with this one. Yeah, it's working. Now let's dice up our onion. Cut it in half, I left the root in on. All right, now I'm gonna mince up my little Fresno pepper, which is kind of like a red jalapeno. It provides a lot of heat. So people can leave this out if they don't like a lot of heat. Let's remove the seeds. And try not to touch your face or eyes after handling raw hot peppers. Now I'm gonna dice up three slices of applewood smoked bacon that I kept in their little freezer. It makes it easier to dice when it's partially frozen. Now let's turn on our little glass top burners here. I'm gonna start at about a medium because I've never cooked with this before. So this way if I'm at a medium, I can either go up or go down. What we did here is we've added the, the bacon, onion, garlic shallot puree, bell pepper. I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of my Fresno peppers. Dump up that heat. So far I've kept this at a medium high, so I'm just going to go above medium. I don't want it to burn, even though these are nice heavy gauged pans they have. Keep it at just above medium. Okay, I'm cutting open the elk. I'm going to break it in half. We're going to brown it with everything else in here. I'm gonna do about a tablespoon of New Mexico chili powder, each one. About a half tablespoon of cumin, each one. This would be a great dish to make while you're here in the cabins. You can use it to top off with some nachos, and maybe for the morning make some chili omelets. Okay, I'm gonna deglaze these pans with a little bit of beer. This is a Yellowstone Roadblock Lager. You can use any beer you like. Probably gonna put about half a cup in each one. Beer and chili. After I brown the elk and add a little bit of beer, I'm gonna stir in one chipotle minced up. A little more smoky flavor to our dish. Now I'm adding Basically a can each of fire roasted tomatoes. I got a little pinch of dried oregano I like to throw in. Now some tomato sauce. I have a 29 ounce can here. Since I'm having my recipe, I'm only gonna put a quarter can in each. Just to give it a little more volume. And then finally, just about a teaspoon of concentrated tomato paste. Stir it up well. Now I'm gonna add my drained kidney beans. 15 ounce can, I'm gonna do half and half. Same thing with canned pinto. About half can of each, or in each. A 
Let's drop in a bay leaf. 25 minutes. Okay, I'm letting this simmer. Hopefully my flavors will come together. I think chili's always better the next day. I like spaghetti sauce, but it should still be great. Gotta give a taste part way through. Woo! It's got a kick. Oh, it's good. I got 12 minutes left. Can I call timeout? Timeout, please. <laughs> I got these deep bowls here. So you got a hungry person definitely can fill that bowl up. Chili cheese. A little more. Dollop of sour cream. Green onion. Let's get our toasted bread in there. All right, everyone, I'm very excited how my elk chili turned out. Let's hope the judges like it. I love it over rice. That's my favorite. Yeah. Well, we'll see what they say. Nice and symmetrical. <laughs> you can fit them all on there? Yes, I thought that you really thought it out. You, you knew about the cabins and you really conceptualized very well with beer, the local beer and the elk. I thought that was really, really good. And finally, Jacob, you'll tell us about Highlands. Yes. I liked the Pizza Beauty dish. I thought that the name Washington itself was kind of selling for the two cabins too. Um, and for me, I felt like it was probably the most complex to make in a cabin. You know, frying your own tortillas and filling them. And I also like the fact that <coughs> when I first saw the dish, I felt like it was going to be cold just because of the steps it took in the filling them and, and wrapping them and stuff. And then I was surprised when I took a bite and it was still, still warm, especially since it was so cold outside. <laughs> so, uh, good job. Well, good job to all of the chefs. And we definitely want to thank everyone for coming out today. I was in there for the deliberations. It was not an easy decision, but well, at the moment everyone's been waiting for, the winner for the 2013 Cabinary Cook-Off is... Hi, Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations to all of you for delicious meals. Thank you again. Thank you. It was really an honor to be here. Well, everyone, even though I didn't win the cooking contest, it was still a lot of fun hanging out here at the Explorer Cabins. Congratulations to Hyla for winning. Be sure and check out Hyla Cooking and Princess Diana's channel and enjoy my elk chili recipe. It's really good and thanks for watching.